Leviathan here, when you drive around a supercar, the most common question you get is, what do you do for a living? How much does it cost? And of course, you want to race, bro. But I also get a lot of interesting comments on Instagram and YouTube. And a question I get a lot is, how do you be successful? Well, the reason I've actually never addressed this before is, well, my channel is a car channel. It's not a motivation channel or a lifestyle channel or a prank channel. It's really dedicated to sharing my experiences and my adventures when it comes to cars. However, today I'm going to address something I've never addressed before and that is, what is my definition of success? So let's go for a drive. So on Instagram, unlike girls, I don't get a lot of messages from guys with pictures of their genitalia. But the common question I receive a lot goes something like, Hey, I'm 20, I love your McLaren 650S, and I want to get some tips on how to be successful. Well, therein lies the problem. Why? Because when it comes to my definition of success, it has absolutely nothing to do with what I drive. Let's explore a hypothetical scenario where I stop renting this McLaren 650S and through some natural catastrophe, my condo gets completely destroyed. Ironically enough, that's what happened. My condo was flooded. So, while I was effectively homeless, does that mean I'm not successful? Well, a lot of people correlate wealth and success and often use that word interchangeably. However, in my opinion, there's no correlation between the two. Your success is not developed by the size of your bank account. However, considering owning this car, my bank account isn't very big. Not to mention the $30 a month I get off of YouTube. But does that mean I'm not successful? No. It really comes down to what your definition of success is. And this is where most people will argue because I feel that success is measured by the strength of your character. Because I really think the type of person you are, the experiences you have, make you a successful person. And my pursuit in life has nothing to do with wealth, but the pursuit of enlightenment. I'm always finding ways to build character and have new experiences because in the end of the day, that's the type of person you become and it's something no one can ever take away from you. No matter what happens, I'll always have my character. It's not something a natural disaster could take away from me or something that breaks down. And that's to me the most important thing because I will always have my character. And just by being a good human being, that's what success is. Feel free to challenge me, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying this is how you should live your life. If your pursuit in life is acquiring wealth, then so be it. But for me, if you're asking me, it really comes down to building your character because that's what I'm going to be left with in the end of the day. When I'm 80, I'm not going to be thinking of the size of my bank account. I'm going to be thinking about all of the experiences that I had in life. My travels, my ventures, my loves, my friends, my personal growths. We all have one life, so however you want to enjoy it, whatever your pursuit is, go for it. I know I went on a rant there, but I just wanted to share something from the heart. So do comment down below if that's something you agree with, because I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are as well. Let me know what drives you. Let me know what your definition of success is. Thanks for watching. Until next time.